And I met Ian, and I met a kid with passion, energy, insight, detail, um, and, and vision all wrapped up. What the big breakthrough and what finally got me excited about uh, Liquid Sky was the work that Ian did and meticulously and carefully and uh, scientifically and mathematically solving the latency problem. It's very, very hard work. The good news is it ain't easy because if it was easy, everybody would do it. And uh, this is a kid who spent the last few years in the bowels of the switch rooms and the server rooms and the, in the innards of the routers and all the rest of it. And he solved, he solved the um, uh, latency issue. So when I looked at all of this and I looked at all of the advantages that this thing brings, um, you know, the network's only going to get faster. You're going to get free upgrades on the network. You get really low cost clients and, and imagine Samsung delivering a suite of liquid squat sky certified gaming consoles that have no microprocessor, no memory, no storage, no state, no data, and uh, use the battery life will be stunning on these because all you're doing is lighten up the radio and the display. This is off the charts breakthrough. I think I got a good one here. Uh, and I think uh, as, as you hear from Ian, you'll see there's a pretty powerful idea and a, and a pretty neat opportunity here. So with that, I'll turn it over to Ian. Um, so first, I kind of want to talk about, uh, about Liquid Sky and how we got going. When this all kind of started, for me, it was probably about seven years old, and I got my first laptop. And a lot of things happened when I was seven, but that was, that was a big one. Um, the new version of Windows just came out, and so I got the hand-me-down old version of Windows. Uh, it was a compact uh, laptop. And um, I found out about a week later that uh, opening it with a pair of pliers is great, but it's not the best way to get it put back together after that. So within a couple weeks, I was on to the next thing. I moved on from the laptop to you know, trying to be a musician, playing the drums, and then I moved on. At one point, I had Legos set up in the corner of my room trying to be Steven Spielberg doing stop motion animation. But I had the ability growing up to try all these different things. It's something that a lot of people don't have. I could go from being a musician with a high performance computer to do that, to being someone who was doing stop motion and video animation, editing these massive files and seeking around to being someone who eventually got the courage to start poking around inside computers again and then become a programmer who needed a lot of hardware. And Liquid Sky, you know, I can't speak for the rest of the team that's here today. We have some of the team that was able to fly out. Um, but for us, I think the, the biggest vision around Liquid Sky is giving people that chance to try. And most importantly, creating an environment, not necessarily an app or a program that people open to go and play these games, but making a place, which we refer to as the sky, where everything just works. You can click on something and it just opens without having to worry about whether or not your device or that you have enough money or that you can actually access a game. You open Liquid Sky and you can actually just click on something and it'll actually work. So that's what I want to show you today. It's the new Liquid Sky. So the old client was what we call the Sky Computer. That was a product we announced two years ago. That's the product that a lot of our competitors are trying to make now. Um, but we have a pretty big head start, and we're announcing something else here today. The Sky Computer was an environment where you can go in as if you just bought a PC once you open our app and install any games you want and play them. But this is something very different. The new Liquid Sky, as I said earlier, it's not actually a program. It's not, a, it's not an app that you open. It's a place you go and things just work, where you can just click on something and it'll actually open on any different device, whatever you own. Whether it's a low-end MacBook Air or one of these $60 Android TV boxes, you can click on a game and actually just go right inside of it. So we're not necessarily a company that's giving you a computer anymore. We're a company that's giving you a place to go, a place where you know whatever you click on is just going to open, whether you can actually afford the computer to run it or not. So the catalog here, the actual games, the actual games uh, that I have are games that we installed. When you go and install a game in one of the existing Liquid Sky technologies like the Sky Computer, it's automatically populated into this environment here. So I can just click on it and go straight into that application. The new interface is very important for us because it allows you not only to access the existing technology, the Sky Computer, but you could choose 
from different storefronts down here to install new content without ever going into the catalog itself. So if you wanted to go into Steam and install a game from their, their catalog, you can just open up Steam right here, scroll through it, and install a game in a few seconds. Chrome, same deal. If you have a game on the internet, somewhere on some remote website, whether it's League of Legends or some other launcher, you open up Chrome, you can go and find that game and just download it. Battle.net, if you want to play World of Warcraft, Overwatch, whatever game it is, you click on it, you install it, and you're done. You play Origin, the same exact deal. What I'm going to show you today is, as I mentioned earlier, a game that's really important to, to us because it was the first time that someone could run a game on a cloud gaming platform that didn't exist yet on a gaming console. And that game is Battlefield 1. So you can see it down here. If I click on it, I now have access to choose what performance I want to run that game with. And the Elite package is something that we're just announcing today. It's actually giving you uh, essentially four times the power of the existing uh, performance packages. And we've went ahead and doubled the uh, performance horsepower of the other two packages that we had in the existing beta to date. So we went and doubled everyone's hardware, and now we have this new Elite performance package, which is the equivalent of a $3,000 computer, or actually a little bit more. So I'm going to show you that here today. So this is the game Battlefield, which I had already opened on my Sky computer, and now it's populated into the new Liquid Sky environment. So it's important to note that I picked a scene where you're supposed to die. So if I get killed, it's supposed to happen. It's not, uh, not because of anything else. But that being said, I kind of want to survive at least 10 seconds to make it a good demo. This is also notoriously a game that uh, just never works, even if you have. So I have a high-performance PC at home, that, uh, an MSI, that cost me $3,500. And we use it as a comparison to our service. We opened this game and just crashed. We're surrounded. Even though it had we the power, the game wasn't designed for that, that device. So this is running completely maxed out. These settings right now that the game is, is on actually would require at least a $3,000 computer stock. I'm sure our users are commenting on Twitter that they can build a computer for less than that. Um, but uh, stock computers can be quite expensive. This is actually running right now 500 miles away in San Jose. So everything you see here is just a video feed of a server running a game 500 miles away. I'm actually just essentially controlling it with this controller here wirelessly. That's all that's happening. So the device that I have is doing nothing more than playing a video. I was supposed to kill him if I was on the usually better than this. I think it's because everybody's watching. Anyways, this is the new Liquid Sky kind of overlay menu that you can access while you're in a game. I'm going to go ahead and exit back. And the cool thing about Liquid Sky is because it's running the game on the PC side, not only do I have to use the controller, but I can also use things like touch. I can go and touch the exit button and then use the controller to actually quit the game. I can use whatever input method I can get my hands on. The game will run the way it's designed to run, regardless of what device is actually running here locally. So the game gets played the way it was meant to be played, and that's something that we feel uh, you know, is really powerful to game developers. And they just know their game's going to work, regardless of who's accessing it. So this is actually my Sky computer. This is uh, something that we're also proud to announce. We upgraded to sort of a Windows 10 uh, type environment, Windows Server 2016. Um, we actually are also announcing, I've got to keep track of all the stuff we're announcing here, uh, Android Sky Computer support. So not only can you connect to a uh, Windows Server type infrastructure, you can also connect to an Android infrastructure and open any Android apps on there. So if you have a Mac device, you can run Android apps on the Liquid Sky client, and they'll populate in that very same menu that you saw earlier. So you'll have games side by side in applications designed for Android and designed for Windows, and you just click on it. You don't care how it was made, what it's designed for. It just works. It opens and goes, especially you know if the sound is, is turned on. So with this uh, desktop environment here, I can open up anything that I've installed. I have a bunch of games because I'm away from, obviously, my computer. Uh, and while we're in Vegas, supposed to be working, I went ahead and installed League of Legends. Um, Battle.net is a client I installed because I wanted to play Overwatch. You just install things, and you actually get access to our gigabit internet. So I'll show you that real quick. Because this Sky computer isn't actually running uh, locally, I can go ahead and access uh, internet speeds 
that are on SoftLayer's IBM platform. So I should probably click the Go button. But locally right now, we have quite a few devices running Liquid Sky, which you guys can test after. Um, we're getting you know, somewhere between 60 megabits per second, which is actually a lot and plenty for our demo. We can work with uh, anything as little as, as uh, 7 megabits per second, but we would prefer something around 20. But I get a gigabit internet speeds on SoftLayer's network. Why is that important? It's important because if I'm going to download a game, I don't want to wait. I can go and I can click the download button and that game is ready. It's cached and it's downloaded quickly. The upload speeds are just as important because if I want to stream to Twitch locally, I have to rely on all the local uh, infrastructure for going back up and nobody has upload speed in their house. Everybody reinforced the download speeds since Netflix and YouTube, which is another reason why our latency is so low. It's just a, a new time. Things were a bit before their time with OnLive. But the upload speed problem hasn't been solved yet. And we have a lot of users who want to stream to things like Twitch, but they can't. You go and you open Twitch on Liquid Sky, you get that 100 megabit upload speed guaranteed, and then you get up to 10 gigabits per second download speed. So that's something we're very proud of. So I'm going to go back to this, uh, this environment and, uh, and talk about some of the new things that we have uh, going here. If your Sky computer is doing something very heavy, let's say you're moving it from DC over to San Jose, or you want to go and start your Sky computer, but uh, it's, uh, you installed a whole bunch of stuff that needs to run and start up, and it's taking some time. You can head over to the Sky Lounge, and in the Sky Lounge, you can actually watch Twitch video streams um, that are recommended for you based on what you're playing. The Sky Lounge is something we're very proud of, especially if you're waiting. You can go and play an HTML5 game that actually can run locally um, and go and, and play with other people waiting in the Sky Lounge. So if you're just bored, uh, you can go and hang out in the Sky Lounge and, and communicate and, and work with the other people in Liquid Sky. But uh, the biggest thing, back to the, that vision uh, for us, was always cost. How can we get the cost so low that people will use this over you know, uh, buying a gaming computer or an Xbox or a PlayStation? And uh, for us, scalability obviously helped quite a bit, but we were performance freaks and we never thought about cost. We went all the way bare metal and we ripped apart the entire uh, hypervisor and we said, okay, we were able to squeeze out two milliseconds you know, on all the CPU tasks. We were able to do this or we noticed that the, the hypervisor to date was transferring memory all the way to the other side uh, to another CPU. And we were able to fix all those scheduling issues. Um, and then also we invented Liquid, which as I said, it allows resources to flow from user to user instantly uh, in a shared economy, which obviously saves people a lot of money um, when their computer's just sitting there while they're sleeping. Um, but for us, the price you know, was, was always a big deal. And uh, we kind of, you know, to get to that vision that uh, we all have, we needed to get that price so low that people were able to, to access us without having to think about it. And uh, in order to do that, you know, to get the price low enough, we would have to go and rebuild that same exact hypervisor so much that we could fit more users on a server. We'd have to go and solve the bandwidth problem, which not a lot of people know this, but the bandwidth to stream a user out of one of our servers is actually just as expensive as the server itself. So you imagine the cost by doing the math in your head, this is how much a gaming PC costs. This is how much more power it has. But in order to stream the, the cost of that, that internet, um, it actually is almost the same amount of money just to do that. So we'd have to go and solve that bandwidth problem, which is a very difficult thing to solve. Netflix battled that for a long time. We'd have to go and, and, uh, and actually partner up with, with various hardware companies, which uh, we're, we're happy to announce we're partnered with NVIDIA on the graphics side, uh, and AMD. We'll be launching some AMD cards soon. And we'd have to go and, and get servers, you know, working with IBM at such an affordable rate that we could really drive that cost down. But one question, I'm actually going to get some water real quick. Always stuck in our head, what would we have to do to make this product free? And uh, the numbers were initially pretty ludicrous. But we had recently some breakthroughs that allowed us to fit so many people on a server, we were able to drive the cost of that gaming instance down so low that it was comparable to an eCPM. So free is obviously a marketing term for all the VCs and investors of Liquid Sky that just had a heart attack. Um, what it actually means in most cases is you have uh, driven the cost so low that you can actually power something with advertising. So we were able to, by reworking all this stuff, and I'm not kidding, you know, about a year ago, we told everyone to throw everything away and start over uh, on the hypervisor side to squeeze as much juice as we could out of this thing. And we did, and we were able to get the cost so low that now we're able to work with various advertising partners to deliver the world's first free gaming PC. So that's something we're very proud of. Really expecting a yeah, thank you.
So that's something that's definitely never been done before, and I'm really surprised that Sky High, Joanna, and Trev Dog aren't talking about it here. But uh, I'll go back to the home screen so that nobody notices. Um, but uh, that's, you know, that's something that's it's really powerful. No one has ever been able to make a free computer of any kind before. No one's been able to make you know, the Chromebooks. They couldn't get down to the free level. And on the cloud side, uh, one of our partners just announced that essentially you're going to spend what we had a year ago in cost-wise on just a day's worth of, of access. And we were able to work with these different partners to get the cost so low that we can do this whole thing with advertising. So that's something we're very proud of. Um, in the Sky Store, which is a place where you can purchase upgrades for your Sky computer, you can purchase new plans, you'll see that very same free plan over on the left here. And uh, there is you know, one caveat. We want to make sure that you can get as much out of these advertisements as you can, and you opt into these advertisements and essentially earn rewards after watching an ad, which are based on your, your interaction and the type of content and where you are and all these different factors. To help you out with that, we limit you uh, to three hours of access per day uh, with, the, with the free uh, offering. And uh, for that, you know, it's about six minutes of ads gets you an hour of access, roughly. So it's much less than, than television. Um, and you can, once again, control when you watch those ads. I want to show you kind of how that works right now. So here's an advertisement. It looks like uh, Samsung popped up this time. Oh, this is amazing. Right, Lil Wayne? Shh. I can't talk right now, Wesley Snipes. I'm delivering this baby elephant. <laughs> the new virtual reality-powered Galaxy S7 Edge. And you can see it's giving me a certain amount of credits, uh, which is actually a, a bit of a random factor. Um, so users have the opportunity to earn just an absurd amount of credits. Um, but also earn uh, the, the amount of credits that, uh, that pay for their instance, obviously. And that's generated based on all these, these different factors from the advertising network for us. But there's a bit of a random factor that we add to it just to give users a chance to have an access to that massive pool of Sky Credits. And they were actually just added to my Sky Credits here. So I'm not going to lie. I know the support people at Liquid Sky, and they gave me 3,000 credits for the demo. Um, but you can earn them uh, using just this right here. So that's something that we're, we're pretty proud of. Um, and when you're in the actual Liquid Sky client, um, if an opportunity arises where the advertising network decides, hey, you know, you can earn a whole lot of credits right now uh, because you haven't watched an ad in a long time, we'll give you a, you know, something that doesn't get in the way of your experience at all, a little, you know, red notification mark. So you can click on that. And if you want, when you're in the middle of a pause menu inside of a game or when you're between uh, different, different games, you can watch that, that advertisement and have an opportunity to earn all those Sky credits. Uh, with that, I'd like to kind of uh, have you guys kind of go over and get some drinks and try out the service and try out these new uh, Liquid Sky certified devices. So great. Thanks, guys. Thank